Did you know that healthy soil can help reduce pests and diseases, suppress weeds, prevent waterlogging, runoff and drying out, can feed your plants without the need for fertiliser and manage its own pH? That's right, soil is pretty amazing. But what do we actually mean by healthy soil? Traditionally, we're taught that good garden soil is what's known as loam. This is about 20% clay, 20% silt and 40% sand, plus a big healthy dose of organic matter. Now, loam is pretty rare and this isn't actually what we mean by healthy soil. Healthy soil is a diverse and abundant ecosystem. Ecosystems are a group of organisms all interacting with one another within their environment. In this case, the environment is sand, silt, clay and dead organic matter. And the environment in soil is absolutely teeming with life. The problem is that most of this life gets overlooked because it's microscopic. There are literally billions of bacteria, fungi, protozoa, nematodes, arthropods, actinomycetes, algae, earthworms and all sorts of other things underneath our feet, most of which we can't see. But when we're talking about healthy soil, this is what we mean, the biodiversity of microorganisms within the soil. Healthy ecosystems exist in a form of balance called dynamic equilibrium. This means that they're constantly being unbalanced by natural events like new species arriving, changes of temperature, weather events, etc. But they are so resilient that they're able to right themselves after getting unbalanced. Ecosystems that are in balance will also have the correct number of predator species to prey species. They will be able to balance themselves in terms of the number of organisms and that means that if you have an abundance of pests that a healthy ecosystem should be able to manage this given enough time. The soil is no different. In a healthy ecosystem, all the organisms will work together to maintain their own environment too. In the case of soil, the soil organisms want an environment that holds water but is also well aerated. In other words, it's perfect for our plant roots. This is because plants and the soil organisms exist in this reciprocal re arrangement. Plants create and release carbohydrates into the soil and in exchange the soil organisms release nutrients. Both the soil organisms and the plants need each other in order to have a fully balanced diet. When we dig our soil, we're essentially creating a natural disaster. We're breaking up the fungal hyphae in the soil, we're exposing organisms to environments where they can't survive, and we're also breaking up the soil structure that's built by the organisms to be perfectly adapted for our plant roots. The soil will repair itself over time, the problem is that we tend to dig every year and it could take a full year to repair itself. So healthy soil is a diverse and abundant ecosystem that can really help us gardeners to look after our plants without having to put in extra work. Hit the subscribe button because in the rest of the series I'm going to be talking about some of the more amazing things that soil can do for you as a gardener and for your plants and how we can take better care of our soil and build soil health and maintain it. If you have any suggestions of topics that you'd like me to cover within the world of soil, then do hit the comments section and leave me a message because I'd love to hear what you want to know about. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again soon. Bye.